What is going on LEGO Ambassadors? So today we're going to talk about LEGO exclusives. Exclusives are great when investing. I love exclusives because they're typically harder to get, there's less inventory, and they typically do better in retirement. So today we're going to take a look at the LEGO store exclusive page, which if you're not familiar just visit LEGO.com, then there's a LEGO exclusive section which we're going to take a look at some sets. I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on these. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Do you think these are going to be great investments? Are you avoiding some? So I'll give my thoughts on how I think some winners will do and how I think they'll do in retirement. So let's dive into it. We've got the Natural History Museum. This is a great set. I think it is overpriced. 300 is a little steep. I think it should be a $200 set, but on sale, maybe like 240 to 250 it's probably where I'd buy and I'd buy it because of city building so if you're not familiar modular city building is extremely popular it's almost as popular as army building but it's in a different category and level it's higher priced so this will fit in a city because everyone wants a museum in their city so this will definitely sell if I could pick it up for 250 I could see it selling from anywhere maybe probably about a hundred dollar to fifty dollar profit maybe you might get 350 but realistically I don't see this selling for 300 I honestly don't even if it does I would want it at 250 because then I know I could definitely sell it at 300 350 is gonna be a stretch for this but there's a possibility if you keep it long enough next up is the Avengers Tower so this is a probably a set that you either like it or you hate it there's a lot of talk about this a lot of people have buy it, bought it early because of city building again we don't really have a lot of skyscrapers so this this fits in the city building category but I absolutely do not like this set I'm avoiding it $500 is absolutely insane I think Lego is just killing themselves when they price sets this high and I think Marvel is a terrible theme to invest in so even for city building I see absolutely no profit at this even at 350, I don't think somebody would pay $400 for this. I, I honestly that that's how I feel. But I'd love to hear your opinions on this. But this is a I'm avoiding this, and I don't see any profit in this set due to the price. And I have a feeling it will probably be out for a very long time. So next up is the Orient Exp Express train. I'm avoiding this set. I'm not a big fan. I mean, if you're looking for trains. The Harry Potter line has uh, has had a few $120 sets, and this is just pretty much a Harry Potter train, just blue. But the Orient Express is popular, but I, I really do not see profit in this. I would have to pick this up for like $200, maybe. But honestly, at $200, I'm still avoiding. I think this is a bad set to invest in. Next up is the Pac-Man Arcade. Absolutely great, great set. I love it personally, but for investing, I think this is a bad investment. I would have to get it for like 150 to where I think I could sell it for 200 And then next up is the Concorde. I think this is going to be a great investment. Everyone wants planes. Planes are popular because of city building. People build airports. And just for display purposes, this is also great. I, I think the Concorde is a cool niche plane. It won't be extremely popular, but I, I can see this selling locally in my area remember I sell locally not online so I am basing a lot of my opinions on that not just in popularity a lot of these sets yeah you might be able to earn some of these some profit online but again I avoid online and I'm gonna make a video on that of why I avoid selling online but this is a solid investment I would like to get this on sale for like 150 I could see the selling for 250 maybe 280 depending on how long it's out for. If it's two years, then it would probably do pretty decent. But if it goes longer, I'm not going to invest in this, but this is definitely a sale piece. The Alpine Lodge, this is a popular set. I see a lot of people talking about it, but I see no demand for this. I, I'm just not a big fan, so I'm absolutely avoiding this. The Mosaic Maker, avoiding this. Not a good set to invest in. The Lego Titanic. This is an extremely popular set. A lot of people thoroughly believe this will hit $1,000, but I'm not going to invest in this bit in this expensive of a set. It's a lot of money to invest in. Too much risk. There's too much space that's taken up, and they'll they'll definitely create another Titanic set because it's extremely popular. 
I, I'm certain on that. So I'm absolutely avoiding. Personally wise, it's a great set. Awesome display piece. But investing, I, I truly don't see somebody paying $700, $800 for this set. There's a possibility if they never remake this set, yeah, it could hit anywhere from 700 to 1000 but the risk is too great. I'd rather invest that into a $60 Star Wars helmet line, buy a bunch of those, and earn way much more profit. So, absolutely avoiding, but I know a lot of people love that. Next up is the Chevrolet Corvette 1961. Absolutely great set. I love the design of the car. Not a big fan of red, personally, but I do think this will be... You'll, there's some money on the table for this, especially if you pick it up on sale for like $100. I am not investing in this. I'm not a big fan of the larger vehicles just because of the price point. I stick with Speed Champions. Speed Champions, I can double my money and they sell consistently where I'm at. So I'm avoiding this just because I'm not a big fan of it. But there is some money that can be made. Not a whole lot, but... I, I avoid the larger sets, except for the Ecto-1. The Ecto-1 is absolutely awesome. Next up, the Christmas tree, $44, absolutely insane. There's no profit to be made on this set, passing. The insect collection, this set will probably do pretty decent. It would ha I would have to get it on sale, and only if it stays on the shelf for two years. If they go longer, it's going to be hard sell. But if I pick this up for $50, I could see this selling anywhere from $60 to $90. And this is gonna be, this is gonna be a difficult one because this is the first time really kind of buggy, you know, bug theme. I think they're gonna go probably like the flower theme. They're just gonna keep making bugs and and insects. And I see somebody doing a variety of flowers, throwing their butterflies in there. So that's where that demand will come from. It will not be extremely popular. It would only, I would only buy a few of these if I got them on sale. Next up is the Upscale Lego minifigure. I absolutely love this set. This set, I think, is going to do phenomenal in retirement. If it has a two-year shelf life, and I made a video, and I'm going to make a few ones, just kind of getting the word out there, I think this is going to be an awesome investment. It's a great display piece, and honestly, it's reasonably priced. We've had a few larger minifigures like this before and all of them have done really really well so if you're not familiar i recently bought the the wooden minifigure that is that was on sale recently that i made a video about but i picked up the wooden one at goodwill for two bucks sold that thing for 160 so i definitely can see this selling from anywhere probably 50 to 100 dollars probably more realistically 70 to 80 but it all depends on, you know, is this going to be the only one? Or potentially, is this kind of maybe a test? Will we see these, you know, pop up in Star Wars form? If they do, I think they'll be extremely popular. But regardless, the upscale Lego minifigure, I think, is going to be a sleeper. It's flying under the radar now because it is a Lego exclusive. That, And that's why I love it Lego exclusives sometimes, because they fly under the radar. Not a lot of people can go to the Lego store and buy some. They typically just go to Target and Walmart and they see what's available there. They just, they're just not aware of a lot of these sets are available and they just really don't visit lego.com too. So I think this is a absolute sleeper. The Lego Nutcracker, this is a pass. I see no money in that. The Lord of the Rings Rivendell set, absolutely phenomenal. This is probably one of the, in my opinion, the best set ever made in the lego universe and i'm not just saying that because i love lord of the rings but this set is just made it is phenomenal i will probably play retail for this if it does go on sale that will be phenomenal but let's take a look at how uh lord of the rings has done i'm really really hoping we get some more lord of the Rings sets in the future but they will not do well I, and i'm gonna make a video on that it sounds confusing but just Lord of the Rings is extremely popular, and all all the sets have just gone up in price. The Battle of Helm's Deep, if I could go back in time, this would be the one I'd probably buy the most of. Absolutely awesome. $130 retail, $514. The Orc Forge, $40, value of $200. I mean, look at uh, Frodo in the Cooking Corner, $4 set, value of $17. The Urukai with Ballista, $4 set, value of $24. 
absolutely phenomenal. Lord of the Rings has a history of doing very, very well. And then, in case you're not aware, if you're a newbie, there are a few Lord of the Rings brickheads, which I think will do extremely well if they retire in 2024. 2024 is going to be the, be the year that I try to pick these up. I'm not going to sleep on them. I am going to try and pick up as many as I can. If you see my shorts in the past, I do have a few already. I think I got 10 of each. So my goal is to get 100. That's going to be extremely hard because going to the Lego store is difficult. But Lord of the Rings is a win. And I could see this selling if they don't make another one, if we don't get Lord of the Rings if they don't bring back Lord of the Rings in the future, which I think they will, I think this is a test, I could see this selling anywhere from $500 to $1,000. This is a phenomenal set, and it will be bought in retirement at a premium. I, I thoroughly believe that. Absolutely great set. But it's going to be a giant risk, because $500 investing in this set, you're, you're putting a lot of table on the money just to sit and... There's always a chance they could remake a smaller version of this, and if they do, it will annihilate the set. But if they don't make one, the set will skyrocket. But the key is, will they make a smaller version in the future? Next up, we got the gingerbread ornaments. Absolutely pass. Passing on those. The Lion's Knight Castle. This is a phenomenal set. It's unknown when it's going to retire. I think it will be out for a while, but if it did retire at the end of 2024, this will be a phenomenal investment, but you have to get it on sale. The night theme has done absolutely phenomenal. So if you look here, we've just got the Castle Knight accessory set, $15 retail, value of $97. The Castle's Dragon accessory set, $15 retail, value of $94. Battle at the Pass, retail $39.99, value of $299. Just Anything castle and knight related is very popular. It's a form of army building, and people are building towns. It's growing in popularity. It's always been popular, and I, I think this is a great investment. But I think you have to get it on sale because LEGO will just continue to release knight and castles slowly but surely. I don't know if they're ever going to bring back the theme, like where we get a bunch of sets. I don't think they will because they know if they do it gradually it will continue to rise in price and be extremely popular. So, great set, but I can probably only see someone paying $500 for this, and that's if we didn't get one like this in the future. But I'm probably going to say sale price, pick it up for $350, sell it for $400 to $450. And I know it's above that right now, but just, you know, you kind of got to give realistic numbers. The Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama, this is one that a lot of people personally that I have met. So I sell a lot of Lego uh, locally, of course, and some people have said that they absolutely think this set is going to go berserk. I disagree. The short shelf life will not help it. It's a horrible movie with horrible figures. It's going to, I think, maybe you might earn 10 to $20 if you're lucky. But I honestly don't think it'll do that. I think it will do anywhere from $35 to $40. And yeah, I think it's a bad set. The Eldorado Fortress, this is a phenomenal set. I love this set. And honestly, for $214, it's reasonably priced. I hope it does go on sale because I'd like to get it for $170, $180. I think this is a $250 to $280 set. So absolutely buying this set when it retires. We got the Batcave Shadow Box. So initially I thought this set was awesome and phenomenal, but it is way overpriced for what you get. I'd rather have a Bruce, Main, Bruce Wayne Mansion for $400. For what you get in this set for $400, it is not a good set. This is, I, I honestly don't think at $200, I don't think I would be able to make a profit on this. So I'm absolutely avoiding that. We got the Land Rover Classic Defender. Passing on this, even though the previous ones have done well. The Lon London bus, passing on this. The previous ones have done well, but this is just mass produced and there's just so much inventory passing. The Tales of the Space Age, I'm passing on this, although I need to do some more research. I'm kind of torn on it. Will it go up? I don't think so, but at retail for 50, passing. 
The Gringotts Wizarding Bank Collector's Edition. This is a phenomenal set. It's unique. It's absolutely great. But Lego made a mistake of pricing it at $430. I think at that price, it's an absolute pass. I think we're going to see pretty big discounts on this because it hasn't been selling. I, Whenever I go to the Lego store or Target, I try to talk to the employees to find out you know, what's been selling. So I, I go to Walmart and Target every single day. So I know inventory levels, what's buying, what's selling in my area, so I know what to purchase. And when I visit the Lego store, since I don't visit it as much, I try to talk to a lot of employees to find out you know, what's been selling. And the general consensus is the $400 plus sets just have not been selling. It's all the smaller sets. These ones just sit on the shelf. And I think this is a phenomenal set in a bad theme. I would have to pick this up at like $200 and I might be able to earn $50 to $60 profit. So I'm generally passing unless we see a massive, massive discount on this. The Eiffel Tower, this is a great set. Uh, obviously the price is insane. Do I think it will sell for $1,000? You know, $800 to $1,000? Yes, the, it's just not worth the risk. That's not enough profit. And they'll make smaller versions there's no doubt in my mind. This one has been struggling, so absolutely passing. The Disney Hocus Pocus Sanders Sisters College. I love this set. This is a phenomenal set. It can be dual use because it's the Disney theme, Hocus Pocus, but then this is totally a Viking theme. You know, throw this in a village, so there's dual theme. I'm hoping to pick it up for 180. I think this will do well. I think there's a $60 profit for this set. But it depends on the sale. And yeah, absolutely great set. I'm not sure if we'll see any more. Honestly, if they make another movie, there is a potential they'll make more sets. The Everyone is awesome. Absolutely passing. This is a horrible set. There's no investment possibility. Disney Castles. I do not like Disney Castles. They remake them. They're going to keep remaking them. Disney will not say, like, oh yeah, we're just going to stop making Lego Disney Castles. No, they're going to make this, and a lot of investors are buying it because they think it's going to go up. I hope I'm wrong, but Disney Castles are a bad investment in my opinion. It's too much money, too much risk, not worth it. Yellow Taxi, passing that one up. The Venador Class Republic Attack Cruiser, absolutely phenomenal set. I will buy this on sale. I'll probably only buy one because that's too much money to you know, pretty much gamble on. But it's the first Venador UCS version, and if we get it on sale, I think this is probably anywhere from 100 to a $300 profit, but we will see a smaller Venator class ship in the future. And if they do, it will destroy this set. I'm, I'm telling you, LEGO is making bad decisions when they have the UCS version and smaller versions out. If we get a smaller version within the next few years, People will choose the smaller version than pay six fifty now retail. They're not going to pay seven eight hundred dollars for the set, despite how awesome it is. I truly love this set, and I think there is money on the table, but there's a lot of unknowns because will they make smaller versions? And I'm certain they will. The Mini Disney Palace Agraba. I I know a lot of people love these kind of small sets, but I'm absolutely avoiding them. I don't see money in them. It's kind of a new theme niche, so I need to see how the new uh, the ones retiring this year do. But overall, passing. Andrea's Modern Mansion, absolutely passing on that. I don't even think you can use that in a city. The St. Bernard Brickheads, passing on that. I think you might be able to make a few bucks. The X-Wing Starfighter, passing. Anything Starfighter, Luke, Land Speeder, they're just so mass-produced. They're Lego. The bread and butter sets, absolutely passing. It's honestly not that bad of a price. If we saw this go on a massive discount, I might consider it. And then we got the pet, the pet's French Bulldog. Great set, but passing on it, it's just too niche. I, I think there could be a few bucks in that set, but not enough. The Ninjago City Markets, great set. I think this will be used in city building. And it has to be picked up on a sale. If I picked it up for 300, I could probably see it selling anywhere from 300 to 400, maybe even 450. It depends. I, th I think 
I think anywhere for a $50 profit on this set. The Diagon Alley, absolutely avoiding this. They will continue to make Diagon Alleys, and this can be used in city building, but the price tag is just too high, and they're not going to put this on a massive discount and clearance. Scrooge McDuck, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, I love this set. I think this set will sell for $30, potentially even more. Brickheads have a history of doing well. Any, and I, I knew from the get-go when I started LEGO investing, Brickheads were, uh, I, in my opinion, an awesome set to invest in. They weren't popular when I started, but now people are just wanting to collect them all. Star Wars are obviously extremely popular, but then we are getting like one-off sets that are also extremely popular. Like the Iron Man, $10 set, value of $35. Hulk, $9, value of $35. Then we got Jack Sparrow, $10, value of $40. Just Brickheads have a history of doing well and doubling your money. And I'm, I'm really hoping that a few Brickhead, Star Wars Brickheads, we go past the $40 range and we eventually hit the $60 to $80 range. So absolutely great investments because they're LEGO store exclusives and they're extremely cheap. When LEGO decides to go above the $9.99 price, I think it's going to really, really destroy their, their product. But overall, love this set. The Harry Hermione, Hermione Ron Hagrid, this is out of stock, but I think this was an okay set. I, I don't see profit in this because we've had these versions out previously, so I avoided this one. Got the Dream Village, absolutely avoiding, not a good investment. The Christmas Wreath 2-in-1, absolutely avoiding, passing that. Ninjago Backpack, I don't know why that's there. Uh, Goofy and Pluto, absolutely great set. It's been out for a long time. I think it's a phenomenal character and phenomenal movie. I, I think Goofy is kind of the fly flying under the radar Disney Brickhead set, but it has been out for a while. Do I think it will hit $20 to $30? Yes. Got the Tuk Tuk, passing on that, or passed. Uh, birthday set, I passed on that. Lion Dance Guy, this one's iffy. I I passed, been passing on him. Um, and then we got Daisy Duck, absolutely phenomenal set. I could see this selling for $30 or more in the future. Minnie Mouse has done phenomenal, and I'm hoping Daisy Duck really gets a portion of what Minnie Mouse did. And if you look at uh, the two, Donald Duck and Daisy Duck. Donald Duck sold out. Daisy Duck's still av available, so I am buying her whenever I can. Spice Girls Tribute, absolutely great set. Love the Spice Girls, but I don't see the selling. Uh, no profit in there. Then the trophy, passing on that. The Chinese New Year's Panda, passing on that. The Lego Iconic Chess Set, a lot of people like this set. Personally, I bought the Harry Potter brick, uh, Harry Potter chess set, and I thought this that was going to do phenomenal. That was a Target exclusive, and that set has been a dud. I think that it earned people like ten bucks. I truly thought that was going to be a hundred dollar set, hundred plus, but it just has not been doing well. So I'm avoiding this. Ahsoka Tano has done phenomenal already. This is a set that I have bought as many as I could. I wish. It wasn't so hard getting to a Lego store. This will absolutely do phenomenal. I see a $20 to $50 profit on this set. And let's see, we got Easter Bunny passing. Chippendale, great set, but passed on that. Donald Duck, bought as many as I could. Absolutely will be a $20, $30 set. I think it will go more than $30, honestly. Woody and Bo Peep, great set. I think this will do anywhere from $40 plus unknown to how high but absolutely great set i wish i w did not sleep on this set and then last week we got the professors of hogwarts i think this was a phenomenal set because of the pro professors but i passed on this set if if you get on sale you might earn a decent amount but i'm sure they will remake this harry potter is a bad theme to invest in there's typically only one or two sets to invest in a year and i am sure in the brickheads form they will remake these individually in the future or just remake this set. Harry Potter sucks. But anyways, that's my opinion on these sets. I would love to hear it. Again, Lego store exclusives are really great. I, I truly love exclusive sets, especially Target exclusives. But the Lego store, you that's pretty much where you get your brickheads. And brickheads are extremely popular now. 
and they're going to continue to grow. But there's a few winners in here. The Lord of the Rings Rivendell set, the Brickhead sets, and the Lion's Night Castle. And I think the upscale Lego minifigure is going to be a sleeper. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these sets. Which ones do you like? Which one are you investing in? And which ones do you think are just going to be absolute duds that a lot of people, you know, have been hearing about investing? So please comment down below. It definitely helps the channel and it helps the community. But as always, please do your own research. Have some fun. Make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.